So today was the big beach clean in Bocas. Well, it is going on actually. And we set off nice and early. Uh, went about five minutes and the engine starts smoking. And there's no water. The kids noticed there was no water um, going through it. Anyway, here we are back at our boat. We rode back and um, trying to think about what to do because the engine really needs to be taken off the boat and you need these mufflers really to try and push the water through. But that's gonna be a bit tricky when we're on anchor. But um, anyway, so we're back here and um, we're gonna get lift with our friends to the beach clean because we really wanna get involved in that because it's a good thing to do for um, any place you're in really to try and um, you know help spread the importance of keeping beaches clean and plastic and things like that out of the water. And me with family The bond that we share is as deep as the sea No matter how rough things may come to be You and me with family Sing ho, hey, long for the ride Ho, hey, I'll stay by your side What you're looking at is the first ever recycling plant here in Bocas del Toro. Uh, it's, it's come about purely from the passion uh, of a small group of people. Actually, we came, we just recently joined together, uh, so Wasteless World, with another organization called Unidos por Bocas. They've been doing great work here around the waste problem that they have here on the islands for a couple of years. And uh, we joined forces with them, and we're now uh, we're now running the first ever recycling plant that Bocas has ever had. Uh, we are still sort of bit by bit growing, raising funds. Uh, at the moment, we've got two industrial machines that allow us to process glass and compact plastic and uh, uh, cardboard. Our next machine comes in like a week, uh, which is going to be a shredder. That's going to help us with uh, shredding plastic down. So then, it's the first step in a uh, process to then turn that plastic back into new products, specifically building products, which we're going to sell to the community, uh, which will then make this whole system completely self-sustainable. At the moment, we're still dependent on volunteers, 100%, and uh, the kindness of, of uh, the community donating to help raise the funds for those machines. So on our website, which is wastelessworld.com, everything that we do is all going to be open source, right? So the idea is to create a self-sustainable business model uh, that is open source so that other communities that maybe don't have uh, the, the resources or maybe the, the municipality or the government or the you know aren't quite doing what they should be it gives the power back to the people so they can take control of their own waste. Like we are low on resources here at the recycling centre. This whole thing is running off the love of volunteers at the moment. All right, so you're gonna have on your team one person that's gonna be dedicated to the aluminium cans. You're gonna put two piles of stuff separate, right? Uh, one is aluminium cans, and the other one is very clean plastic and glass. That is rubbish, that is trash. So that goes in my trash bag. Again, if you have doubts, just put it with the rubbish. You know, we, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to recycle a lot of what we find today because it is a, a real pain in the ass to try and wash off everything. We don't have much water here um, at the moment. We're still getting that all set up, the washing system. So at the moment, everything is done by hand, and it's all done by volunteers. And we're already at, you know, uh, it's already very. It's a mission to clean everything that we've got. So we want to try and make the volunteers' lives a bit easier. This is our team leader. He's Emilio. My English is. So, so. Okay. okay. Separate aluminium, so cans, yeah. and then you separate the clean plastic and the dirty plastic. Okay. Oh, that is glass, but it's not clean glass, so I think that could probably go in here. So if it doesn't pierce it. Wait. Hi, I'm Brooke from One Life, and we're so excited to be here on this beach. We have like 80 people here now. It is insane. We like. This is the biggest beach cleanup I've ever been a part of. So cool. Are we sand inside? Yeah. I think it's supposed to be We're trying to shake the sand out then. Try and shake the sand out. We weren't sure whether it was an ice thing. Oh, it's just sand, yeah. As we sail around the world, we think it's important to get our kids involved in these initiatives. A lot of us are finding these kind of, um, they're like, I think they're ice, ice bags, so a lot of them. What was in that packet? Uh, 
looks like a window. And a lot of diapers or nappies as we call them there seems to be a lot of those and they just soak up the sand in the water it's really difficult to carry them so many poops <laughs> oh oh i can smell it oh is that another diaper there's so many of them and they seem to oh, like oh this is like they grow is that they're growing i found several syringes which is not good lots of random plastic bags crispy <laughs> I love the stuff that people find actually. Well, Cecily, how did you get such a cool looking bag? Uh, once we've got all the machines in place, it will be a completely self-sustainable uh, project that's not for profit. So all of the profits will go back into educating the community, back into doing more events like what we've done today, this cleanup, uh, to try and create more awareness and consciousness around looking after our environment and, and being in touch with our communities. So this is what they make out of the lionfish. Lionfish are really, really... Oh, that's cool. It's really cool. So cool. And they've got, out of the, the plastic they've made, like stuff for surfboards. So they've just chopped down the wine bottle, haven't they? That's such a nice idea. And then oh, this is a wallet. There's lionfish on it. Oh, wow. We want people to copy what we're doing. We want this to be an example for other communities like in Sun Blast, other island areas or remote areas around the world that have the same problem where they don't have big recycling centers close to them. The thing is you can create a recycling system that uh, fits your community's needs, right? These kind of machines, they come in all shapes and sizes and it really just comes down to finding out what the capacity of your community is and then just doing the numbers. And we're happy to actually facilitate with that as well. So if it's something that you're interested in doing in your community, please feel free to get in touch with us and we'll be happy to share any information or experience that we've uh, gathered uh, so that we can help you to, to make a change in your community as well. well. That's brilliant to know. So they get in touch with you through, through Wasteless World then? Wastelessworld.com. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Brilliant. Thank you. Thanks guys. Together we can. Thanks for watching and a massive thank you to our patrons for keeping this journey going. If you want to give something back and want to be a part of our patron family, then follow the description in the link below or put Mothership Adrift Patreon and that should send you to the right link. You can become a patron from as little as $3 and you can be in contact with us directly. Thank you. You and me. And finally, don't forget to subscribe and also check out our other channel which is dedicated to fixing your boat for Mothership Maintenance. Hey, you'll always be